Howdy folks, High Value DMD. Don't just give me your subscription, but please let me earn it. Let me earn your like and let me earn your comment. Today, I'm going to be reacting to a Red Pill MGTOW podcast. It's called the Whatever Podcast. Let's get into it. Let's say you were, uh, you didn't really get a thorough background on the girl you were dating and you're, you're, uh, you're engaged or even let's say you're married and you find out, no, no, let's say engaged, right? And you find out somehow it never came up in conversation. You thought a certain way about the girl. Okay. Before we go any further, I just want to take an evaluation of the, the room and, and what I'm seeing. So looks like this guy is the ring leader over here on the left and he's got his right hand man right next to him and they're probably going to be in some sort of agreement okay and i'm seeing let's see one two three four five six seven there's eight women here and yeah so they're all at a round table i'm just trying to take this in okay and so he's setting up a scenario about probably something you're about to get married and then something goes wrong and she didn't tell you all the whole truth let's see but then she Somehow you find out that she'd previously slept with a hundred men. Are you calling the engagement off? Yeah. Me too. Hmm. Yeah. Do you guys object to that? <laughs> okay, so obviously anybody in their right mind, if they're dating somebody, whether it be a man or a woman is dating their, their significant other, right? And they don't give them the whole truth. Of course, of course, that's going to cause issues. And that is grounds to call off a marriage, okay? So I'm taking in this internet culture right now, and this guy on the left, like this channel has what four million subscribers, and so this guy, this is this guy's full time job, man. This is what he does. He probably has no other skills but getting on the internet and causing a bunch of ruckus. So this is this guy's job. He he probably hired these women or is offering them publicity on this channel, and he's coming on here asking some. Some fiery questions trying to get a reaction from his guests. And this is what this is, man. This is entertainment for the audience. For a bunch of angry guys at home to watch this. Maybe they've gone through this scenario. Or maybe they have been wronged by a girl that's been very, very promiscuous that they didn't know about. And so they're gonna they're gonna tune into this video and get angry, man. Let's let's watch. Do you well, think that's wrong for us to call off the engagement because yes. she, it's wrong? It's personal preference. It should have been disclosed earlier. Well, I, I do it, agree with that. I do agree with that. But hey, some, some people, I, I would say the conversations we have on this podcast where we're talking about body count, I hear from a lot of women, they say, oh, I've never had a guy ask. <laughs> See, like he didn't get the reaction that he wanted to. Hey, I, I didn't watch this beforehand. I'm reacting to this as I go. So he wanted them to get really, really upset and respond to him and start in on him because that is what's going to get him clicks. That's what's going to get him paid. I don't see this as an honorable profession or an honorable way to make money whatsoever, but to each their own. So he's trying to drum it up, man. He's trying to reach and say, oh, well, but other women on this podcast have said this and that. Let's see what how this goes. Ask me about my body count. It never comes up in conversation. So I assume a lot of these men are dating women. They frankly don't know. Yeah, They don't know. And a lot of them, it's like ignorance is bliss. They don't want to know. But if they found out, so... In that scenario, would you object to the guy calling off the engagement, breaking breaking off the rela the relationship? He finds out she's previously slept. Yeah, yeah. So he's gonna keep on probing for details or emotions. Let let's see. Let's let's skip forward a little bit. And so we're gonna get some more response from the women specifically. And I don't know why this girl is over in the corner wearing some sort of German World War One helmet. It, I'm telling you, this is all for entertainment. This is not, this is not anything, any real helpful advice. You know, this is not going to help somebody through a tough time or through a tough conversation with a significant other. This is very inflammatory. And hey, like I'm not going to shill for a bunch of promiscuous women out there, but hey, I'm definitely not going to shill for this guy over here on this channel. I'm not going to fall in lockstep with all these red pill influencers. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call. Call stuff out as I see it. Okay. 
I disagree. Okay. I would respect that person even more, I think. Huh, okay. I mean... He dumps you because of your current body count. I'd be like, oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's it. Okay, cool. <laughs> Just oh. Um, <clears throat> Later. I think I would, I would respect him, too. Okay, okay. I would just be like, okay, that's your problem. Um, I would not object to it, but honestly, he seriously should have passed away before the engagement. Hmm. Yeah, I, I just, for me personally, I think it's kind of weird to ask these questions on the internet, having this in front of millions of people watching. And But hey, these women are consenting to this interaction. They knew what they were going to get into. Because I'm sure they've got their Instagrams. They're trying to get a bunch more followers or, or, or whatever. So they're trying to get their publicity and they're trying to get paid out of this too. This whole situation to me is like complete degeneracy, right? And a lot of these men, they, they sit here and they complain about hookup culture and how degenerate it is, how morality is decaying in our society. It's like, okay, well, why are you hosting this podcast? Why are you... Well, like I understand we need to have conversations, but why are you trying to make money off of these conversations in this provocative way? Like you know exactly what you're doing. You, like you you can't hide it. And and then it's like on the other hand, so it's like they're they're hosting these conversations and then they're fueling this fire with these questions, but they're hiring these women to come on that are dressed a certain way. Like you know, they're they're probably women that have gotten around like they're not they're not the type of woman that you want to put on a pedestal and show as an example to everybody of somebody who you should be with now maybe on other podcasts maybe he has some sort of balancing act and maybe he has women that are 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 people that you should aspire to be with but this whole thing it just feels just like icky to me you know it, it doesn't sit right and this is not an honorable profession whatsoever. This is not a career. Gentlemen, if you're watching this, go out somewhere and, and go get you a, a real job, okay? Get you a real job that pays you really well, that you can go home and sleep at night knowing that you're doing an actual service to your community, not just making people mad on the internet, all right? So myself, I'm a dentist by trade, and that's going to be a very fulfilling job. It's going to be fulfilling work. And I know I'm going to be benefiting people directly and doing a service for people. These chuckleheads on here, they can't say that whatsoever. I mean, what have they accomplished, honestly? Yeah, they're making money. They have millions of views and, and subscribers. But at the end of the day, your integrity, who you are as a man, that also matters. And do you want to go home every night? knowing that this is who you are like this is this is your line of work and this is what you represent so with that i will leave you let me know what you think below i hope i earned your subscription i hope i earned your like and i hope i earned your comment what do you think do you watch the whatever podcast do you agree with their methodology or do you disagree do you find it repugnant and does it turn you off until next time Ooh.